definitely watching out for a couple rounds of showers and thunderstorms on your Friday night. And the Storm Prediction Center has placed parts of our viewing area under a marginal level one risk of a severe thunderstorm. The biggest issue will be a couple gusty winds tonight, up to 50 miles an hour, even 60 in some locations. The good news is, though, these are very fast moving storms. They're not going to stick around for all that long out there, and particularly from Huntington in the southeast Ohio and eastern Kentucky, points north and west in our viewing area. That's the best opportunity for a severe storm through tonight. Now there's a couple rounds of storms. Once the initial thunderstorms pass through here in Charleston about 8 to 10 o'clock, we'll have a brief opportunity for a couple showers before a break in the rain overnight, and then we'll have even more rainfall come tomorrow morning. The good news is it is not a washout as we head into the weekend. So right now on the radar and satellite, a couple thunderstorms in eastern Kentucky and southeast Ohio. The good news is right now the severe activity is west of our viewing area. However, there is one particular storm with some lightning that's approaching portions of Lewis County, Kentucky, just on the fringes there of US 52 moving in the north and the east as well. And that will move into Ohio here very shortly. A quick heavy downpour and some gusty winds with this activity through the next couple of hours. There is a cold front that is attempting to make its way through the region. And it won't completely pass with this initial round of storms. It will actually pass through later tonight. And once that front pushes its way eastward, we will look for much cooler temperatures into the weekend. No more 80 degrees like we've had the past few days. We'll be down into the 60s there for tomorrow and then even colder into the next week. So after the first round of rain this evening, about midnight, we calm down. We get more rain overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning before sunrise. So a good quarter to a half an inch of rain, a soaking here for, say, across that region, but not all that much. Definitely enough to keep the ground wet, though, and also release some of our allergy symptoms into the weekend. Hillbilly Day is going on this weekend in Pikeville, Kentucky. Much cooler for tomorrow. A couple scattered showers early in the day as we start off in the 50s. Still getting up into the 60s by the afternoon. A lot of cloud cover, perhaps a spotty shower the middle of the day. And then we cool off in the evening as well. Things start to get quiet there in East Kentucky by sunset. All right, let's look at our future cast. And we're still going to have a few showers and storms for the next couple of hours here in our western counties. They move into southeast Ohio. We could see some of that here in Charleston by about 8, 9 o'clock. So if you are at Gomart Park tonight, there is the opportunity for a spotty pop-up storm through this evening and a couple of waves and rounds. The cold front is still not completely through our region at this point. What we will have is a lot heavier rain that will start to take shape to our west overnight tonight, and that will arrive here in Charleston before sunrise. And that's where we'll get that good soaking of up to a half an inch of rain into tomorrow morning. But notice by 930, most of the activity is pushed eastward in the eastern mountains, mostly cloudy skies, perhaps a spotty pop-up shower in the afternoon. But definitely a couple rounds of showers and storms will be around tonight with otherwise mostly cloudy skies and southwesterly winds in play for a cool evening and low temperatures into the 50s as well out there. Let's look at your seven day forecast and much cooler in the next week. Sunday, 50s. Not into the 60s until Tuesday there with a couple showers in the middle of the week. Chances for rain are going up for Thursday though, but still below normal even into next weekend.